Hey guys, welcome back to another new video. So in this video, we are going to explore the latest version of Evolution X ROM for Redmi Note 8. So I've been reviewing this ROM for maybe a year now. And I have already talked about almost all the features viable in this ROM. And friendly said, this is one of the best ROM you can find for your Redmi Note 8. Nothing is like better than this one. So there are a few ROMs which are doing very great. Those are like Evolution X, one of the best one. And you can install CR Droid, that one also good. And also Dreadfest. These three are doing pretty good. And these three are based on AOSP. So today we have uh, the ROM which is based on Android 14. And also this one is the latest version of it. So as you can see here, we are Android 14. And the security patch level is February 5, 2024. So it released a few weeks ago. And I've been using after that this ROM actually, just trying everything. I haven't found any issue. Few things I have noticed, uh, like the features. So I have talked about the feature last in my last video. Like the we do have few things in the battery section. So we can control now how much current we want in our phone to like charge. So usually if you are charging like whole night, you can reduce the charging current limit to 500 or 300 MA. So it will charge for the long time and it, it will give you a two benefit actually. First of all, it will not harm your battery. Second of all, your battery charge will last longer because the device is charging slower. So it will reduce the charge also slowly. So in that case, it is quite good feature. And also we can we have few other feature like we can also control the charge until which percentage we want. If we want like uh, until 80% we can do that. Custom schedule we can do that. Also limit charging we can do that. So many features are available which are actually really good features. And also one more thing I have noticed that usually when we turn on the keyboard as you can see my keypad is now a bit bigger and also we don't have any kind of a space here. So I haven't noticed that feature in previous build or it was there or not. But recently I have found it in navigation mode. If I go to navigation gesture and there is option called IME space. So I put it in hidden now. So in default mode, if I open default mode and if I check here, going back and if I show you, so as you can see, we have a few extra space here, which is not occupied. So you can do it like you can narrow it or you can like fully vanish it. I think that is a good feature. Many ROMs actually lacking that feature. They should include and there are, if you wanted to get it, this feature in another ROM or in previous build of this particular ROM, you have to like use some kind of build prop edit to do that. But now it is in directly put it in the ROM. So it is pretty good. And also it makes a bit easier to use and you can like unable, like you can make the keyboard a little bit bigger and use it. So pretty good feature. Other than that, one more thing I have found is that if I go to miscellaneous section, uh, and if you go to spoofing section, so there are a few things going on. So you can like enable pixel props, spoof as Pixel 8 Pro and spoof as Pixel 8 Pro for all Google apps. So you can turn it on. So in this, if you spoof your device like that, you will get few features which is specifically available for Pixel 8 and 8 Pro, like magic eraser features. So magic eraser feature is available for other devices too, but you have to pay for that. But here it is included with the ROM. So if I go to this magic eraser feature right now, so I have opened this and if I go to edit section, um, if I go to tool section, as you can see, magic, magic eraser is a Bible. So, but, but now this feature is not working here. I don't really know, as you can see, maybe in the feature build, this bug will be fixed. I have updated the Google Photos apps, but it still is same. Maybe it will be updated in next, uh, like next build of this ROM. Rather than that, I haven't found any kind of issue. Spoofings are working perfectly fine. Even like spoofing for unlimited storage in photos mode, that's also working. Other than that, I haven't found anything else here. Everything is pretty similar to IOSP based ROM or the previous build of this ROM. Camera is working perfectly fine. Built-in camera, as you can see here, 48 megapixel also working. Haven't faced any kind of issue with this ROM. ROM is smooth. It's hard to find any kind of lag or bugs on this ROM right now. Usually, I used to look for bugs on this this kind of ROM. Now, it's just look for goodness. 
So pretty good job they are doing in the like Evolution X community. So that's all about this ROM. I will put the link of the ROM in the description below. If you want to flash this ROM, you can flash it. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.